program is in a, is in the area of programming and data science now if you uh, when we constructed this program so we made sure that someone who has passed 10 standard with mathematics should be able to come in learn only what is there in this program and slowly build up everything that they need to get out with a successful degree and really become a successful programmer and data scientist as they go forward so the entry process is completely open you really need only 10 standard mathematics you should have finished 12th and you should be at least in college or a little bit older so you can just apply it's uh, you apply to the qualifier process you go through one month of course with us you know an online training process with us and at the end of it you write an exam if you clear that exam if you get more than 50% you are admitted to the foundation stage so that's that's the process this kind of flexibility this kind of thought process that you can do this uh, do a basic degree at your own pace uh, from anywhere in the country and do it at the best institute uh, available in the in the country is uh, is something quite uh, profound quite uh, different from what uh, people are accustomed to uh, and uh, we are we are very delighted that we are in a position to offer this kind of uh, facility to facilitate this uh, for uh, all the students really bright and intelligent and hard working students uh, Uh, across the country one of the one of the very big motivations for us in this program is also to you know come down from this big ivory tower into which uh, everybody puts iits you know the moment you think of iit madras we are known for this really tough entrance exam by which we keep 99.99% of the world out right so we we want to break that barrier we want to show what iit quality education is what is the meaning of this so this through this program we have basically made you know iit madras is now your institute so basically now we are not stopping anyone from coming in if, if at all you are stopped you are stopped only by yourself so you, you have to just transcend your own limitations you can get a degree from the best institute in the nation our uh, purpose in starting a program like this is to reach out to the public with high quality uh, education options so in general uh, in india with us being a you know country that is uh, uh, with, which has uh, you know significant diversity in uh, economic capability uh, in background with which uh, people uh, you know uh, grow up uh, we find that generally the education system is one where uh, there is a very high demand for a small number of uh, you know high quality institutes so uh, our process normally requires to eliminate a lot of people so we first have to eliminate a lot of people so that we can gather up that small number who are qualified to take uh, you know utilize those uh, institutions i think we have come to a time where i think that model has to be discarded uh, and we are capable of discarding that model and uh, this program is the first in uh, in that direction uh, where we want to make it uh, available to all people across india where anyone anywhere in the country as long as they are interested as long as they are willing to work uh, you know regularly and uh, with put in their effort they can get a degree from the top institution in the nation there is no upper limit to the number of uh, students who can join this uh, program uh, we have uh, at the same time we do uh, ensure quality but uh, without uh, compromising quality we have no upper limit as such uh, to start with if enough students are interested uh, we have a process in place which will scale up to meet that demand while still maintain, maintaining the quality of the instruction process there were two major things that we took into account one is the job market then we wanted to have a very good job market for the graduates who come out of this program uh, in the next decade let's say the next uh, 10 years or so the number of jobs in the area have to be very large so that's one uh, very important objective uh, the second objective is the course must be uh, you, you must be able to teach it online in a interesting and a complete way so for instance if you take some you know laboratory based course or a very heavily hands on course it's difficult to efficiently teach it online we wanted to pick subjects which can be easily taught online as well so if you put these two together the answer is sort of obvious uh today there is a huge demand for data scientists who can program as well and that will continue to remain hopefully for the next decade or so so this seemed like a perfect fit in terms of a program the instruction is online but every exam is in person okay so students have to come to a center and sit down and write the exam so we make sure that the actual student is who is being taught comes in and we can verify that they know uh what they are uh, learning and we can certify that very clearly so that's one thing we insist on 
the instruction is online meaning some of the content is recorded most of the content is recorded and given to students and they can look at it but we support the students in a huge way i think this part uh, is what is missed in uh, by most people they equate it to some distance education where the material comes and the student is forgotten right so it, this is absolutely not what we do this is iit quality education we are very very serious about it right so we have a big group of support instructors absolutely i think there's no problem today in that today lakhs and lakhs of students write for instance an exam in jee right lakhs of students write across the country at the same time and today we have very efficient systems to administer exams and that can be very easily done it's not a challenge at all to have uh, in person centers uh, across the country for exams even in small towns they have centers it's possible actually the uh, new education policy uh, in fact envisions uh, something which is very nearly what we are doing in fact uh, we probably predate it a little bit uh, in the sense that we were already working on this we had uh, released it uh, the minister had uh, you know uh, inaugurated it and so on and uh, the policy also came online and uh, the policy actually uh, uh, encourages exactly this type of an activity where it says that you know multiple uh, options should be available to students multiple entry options multiple exit options uh, they should be able to do uh, simultaneously two degrees maybe one in campus one online uh, and so on so many of the key recommendations or suggestions from the uh, new education policy uh, are directly being uh, addressed uh, by this program year 1 is what we call foundations Uh, what we teach there is basic computing and programming so in fact you learn python programming at the end of year 1 so you would know python programming and then uh, statistics mathematics and english a little bit of english to you so at the end of year 1 you have the basics all uh, figured out correctly you know statistics the foundations of statistics probability and all that and basic mathematics optimization basics the the linear algebra all that that you need for uh, data science all that you know and python programming uh, based on some computing course and basic english comfort so all these three you have at the end of the first year so in many places that's good enough for a job right so people who know python programming and uh, are analytically competent enough to understand it that's good enough for a basic job as well. uh, second year is the main skill year that's the diploma year as we call it there are two different diplomas that you can get in the second year one is a diploma in programming which in uh, which in, includes courses on databases application development java things like that so so that you are really ready to go and contribute into a you know the software building cycle of a company okay so that's the diploma in programming the other diploma is diploma in data science uh, there you learn about you know how our data originates in business how uh, business decisions are impacted by data how do you do machine learning algorithms what are the foundations of machine learning machine learning techniques and practice so these two diplomas you can do in second year so at the end of the second year if you say you already have a degree you are really qualified to get a good uh, you know sort of slightly more senior level uh, software job or a data scientist's uh, job that's already possible at the end of the second year itself third year is a bunch of elective courses that are structured for you to specialize in some chosen area you could choose to do more courses say you know uh, computer vision how do you use data in that how do you use it in nlp how do you use it in uh, audio processing speech processing that could be one thing you could try or you could do more into the hardcore computer science area right computer systems you can go into that or you can do a little bit more applications so it's more specialization in third year and you have a degree and of course you have all the jobs open to you at that point the process that we are following for this uh, bsc uh, degree program is one where the entry is actually quite uh, uh, open in the sense uh, anybody can uh, come and join our program and they actually get to see the first month content of the program and uh, so they don't have to write a separate entrance examination which is a traditional way in which people get into you know highly competitive uh, institutions so they don't have to prepare independently they don't have to go to coaching classes nothing they can just straight away join this program if they meet certain very basic requirements like they should have completed their 12th standard now uh, they will see the first month content with us 
and they will uh, you know submit assignments based on the content and they will write the first monthly exam as you can call it for the four subjects of that uh, uh, you know first term so to speak so they are sort of trying out our program and we are trying them out so it is you know mutually we are you know testing each other out and the first uh, exam uh, is based on that first month content that they have seen but they have to do this in person so we do not compromise uh, in uh, in any manner the rigor of the process so they come to centers just the way they would come for an entrance examination or any other you know important examination they will have a, a hall ticket with them they will uh, prove their identity and uh, under invigilated conditions they write the exam the exam is also set in a very thorough manner uh, the faculty are uh, you know trying to make sure that they have really understood the first month the content and, uh, and only then uh, they will be able to do well and uh, so they go through this process they have to pass the examination again there is no ranking here so Uh, again the idea of in, uh, eliminating students is not what we are uh, focused on here we want to ensure that they competent that they competent and they have done their job uh, upper limit is 6 years but the expectation is most students will complete it in about 3 years but we are permitting them to take longer because they may they can actually even exit the program uh, part way through carry on with some you know professional activity that they are involved in and so on and come back again and then continue their uh, degree process currently among the students we have about uh, 20% are working professionals so they've already finished college they're in jobs or retired or something older as older people so they are not in college already but remaining 80% of the students and all of them almost uh, 100% of them are in some sort of a college pursuing another degree you know that's a bit of a challenge as well they have to manage two programs at the same time First of all, like I said, while we deliver content online, we just don't deliver and stop. We have weekly assignments. There are three different types of assignments that they have to students have to work out every week and every subject. So every week and every subject, there are some thirty questions that students have to work out and answer. That's number one. Uh, number two, we do a huge number of live sessions. So in every class that you do, there will be three or four hours where an instructor is available for you to come in and discuss. and the other usual things that online uh, portals do you know have an online discussion forum where students participate all of that is there and finally every month you have to come to a center and write an exam we do have uh, you know the regular fee structure and then we have a 50% uh, reduction in fee for uh, students who have a certain uh, you know restrictions in how they can uh, fund themselves and we even have a 75% reduction based uh, these are based on Uh, either social factors or uh, based on when you know maybe they have a physical uh, disability uh, associated and so on if your family income is less than 1 lakh you get 75% off so which means uh, it is only 1/4 for 60000 rupees total you can get this entire bsc degree we are quite convinced that the uh, students who complete this program will be high quality students and uh, they will have a lot of uh, professional confidence in the uh, area that they are uh, going to be trained in uh, so our whole process uh, the way we will guide them through it the way we will mentor them through it the way we will uh, expect quality from them will ensure this iit madras is going to have a separate placement office dedicated for this program for working with uh, students of different types who are going to join this program so that they get a really good uh, career option at the end of it and they are already in talks with the companies you know remember it's only first year it's not even ended people haven't even cleared foundation we are already in talks with a lot of companies uh, to start thinking about placing the students at the end of second year for internships many internships today you know as you know get converted into jobs they're trying to push in that direction so we will work with students very closely for both facilitating internship and facilitating jobs at the end of the day internally in the institute the jobs and the median salary that the graduates get get is easily the number one indicator of success of the program and if that falls this program itself is likely to fall so we know everything hinges on the placement so we are 100% commitment committed to get uh, wonderful placement opportunities for every student at this program